Good morning. I'm walking in a an area that's a wetlands restoration project and I'm in southeast Wisconsin. Um, this morning I woke up kind of with that feeling of like, I don't want to get out of bed. I don't really... felt like not really sure what was ahead for me in the day and I had just kind of scrolling through emails and had forwarded some things to a friend yesterday and I forwarded something else to her this morning and she responded back with this question of why like what is it about these things that um kind of inspired you to send them to me what are you thinking and at first I was just like, well, I thought you'd be interested. And then I realized that it was like, it's, it's about me. I'm really wrestling with our farm and whether to keep it or whether to let it go. And realizing that in order to keep it, um, I really need to understand why I'm keeping it. I need to understand what the work is that's calling to me in keeping the farm. And then it really had me looking at, like, why? Why? The role of why in thriving. The role of why in in everything. And Simone Sinek, um, or Simon Sinek, um several years ago when I really got kind of passionate about coaching and coaching in the environmental space, um, I got turned on to his work and really started dialing back through my life and looked at kind of all of these different experiences that I've had going back to the very beginning of my own life. And why I've ever done anything that I've done. Um, And it was a super powerful exploration for me. And then I started exploring this morning, like why did Tim get out of bed every day and go to these grueling cancer treatment appointments? he, He knew his why. It was to live one more day to be with his girls. Um, he, he did that to the very end. Um, on the very last day, just before he went on the hospice, he had his final cancer uh, chemotherapy treatment in hopes that somehow it would be the magic bullet that would give him a chance to live another day. And why did he want to live another day? Because he wanted to be present for his girls. And he wanted to look out the window and be present for the farm that he's invested so much of his blood, sweat, and tears in. Um, And I was thinking for myself this morning, I've I've really been um, kind of wrestling with this recently, which is what's, what's next for me? Um... And I thought it would be extremely apparent, uh, you know, during the course of his treatments, I was able to muster the energy to get up and do what I was doing every day, um, even if I didn't love what I was doing, um, because I knew my why. And my why was to make sure that I kept the stability in place so that my husband could go through all of the treatments that he was going through. Um, so that my girls could have the stability that we needed as a family. So that we could, you know, have a bed to sleep in uh, when we came home at night. Um, now, uh, thanks to, you know, good planning... We've got some stability in place that's allowing me to take a pause to be present for my girls. 
and to really explore this question of what's next. And oddly, you know, it's, it's less apparent than what I thought it would be. And I think it's, um, I'm just realizing that I have to get back into, like, I have to get down under it to understand why, uh, you know, why, why am I, what step am I taking and why? And that when I can really get in tune with that, um, that's where the energy will flow. That's where the energy comes from. That's where the energy will move from. And until I get into that and really feel solid and clear about that, um, I feel like I'm kind of at a standstill. Uh, and I feel grateful to kind of be re-dialed into that to just like, oh, I can't move forward because I don't know why I'm moving forward on whatever I'm moving forward on. Um, so I thought it was worthy of just like exploring this out loud because I think, I believe that this is true for all of us, that in order to move forward powerfully on anything in life, we have to understand why we're doing it. Because that's where, it's like where um, we're aligned with the current of life. So I'm going to keep exploring that. I know that nobody can answer those questions for me. Nobody can tell me what's next. Um, it has to come from inside of me. And I have to understand. Um, I just have to get down in there. So kind of a, I'm feeling grateful to be at this place and to have a, I think, a place to start looking um, and questions to start asking myself that will help me uh, figure out what's next. I, d I know I definitely have a lot of like threads of it. Um, I can smell it. I can almost taste it, but I'm not quite there. And I feel like when I actually get there, there will be a powerful current moving and I'll be able to move forward without um, feeling snagged by anything. Um, <laughs> you know, one of the questions I asked my daughter yesterday is, you know, where, where do you want to be? Where do you see yourself um, and in a couple of years when uh, your sister leaves for school? Like, where do you see yourself? What do you see yourself doing? And she turned it around on me and she's like, Mom, here's the question for you. Where do you see yourself when we're both gone? And I said, that's a really good question. So... Uh, that's what I'm exploring right now. And I invite you to turn that around and just kind of look at yourself and the things that you're doing and ask yourself why you're doing those things. And if you're feeling a lack of energy, a lack of motivation or drive, see how asking that question of yourself shifts things. Um, and if you want to learn more about uh, Simon Sinek he's got a great book he's got several books but Start With Why is awesome he has a YouTube um, or a, a TED talk that you can find on YouTube that's um, it's either Start With Why or The Power of Why but I think it's one of the most listened to TED talks of all time or at least it was at the time that he first came out with it so uh, a lot of gems there. All right. I'm going to keep walking. And uh, just wish you a wonderful day.